Hi, my name is Lindsay Pasho, and I'm on Cornell Cooperative Extension's Harvest New York team. I will be discussing the supply chain for industrial hemp in New York State with discussions about state of processors, a little bit about retailers and consumers. In May 2020, a survey was sent out to the hemp processors in New York State to find out what the state of hemp processing happened in 2019. Out of a little over 100 processors in New York State, only 24 responded. Um, 13 said that they did process hemp in New York State, and 11 said that they did not. We asked, how much hemp did you process in 2019? Um, 11 respondents did not process any hemp, and then the hemp ranged between 0 and 28,278 pounds, with a total of 122,088 pounds processed in New York State, according to the um, respondents. In 2019, um, we asked what the minimum CBD content that hemp processors required um, from their growers. It ranged anywhere from 0 to 12%. Um, of CBD percentage that they would like from growers. Then we asked processors what they were processing hemp into. This included hemp oil, seed cake, um, biofuel, um, plastic raw materials, hemp fiber, pellets, um, and that was for pellet stoves, um, extracts, such as powders, base oil, protein, tinctures, flour, and CBD. In 2020, um, we wanted to know what processors were looking at for their capacity um, for processing hemp. And, you know, the range is kind of all over the board, but included um, weekly basis of 200 pounds. Um, some processors said for um, a month they could only do about two acres or anywhere between 1,000 and 140,000 pounds. Um, with also some processors responding that they could do anywhere from 6,000 to a million pounds um, within the year. There's not a lot of information out there um, in New York State about the state of retailers and consumers. Um, this will probably be potentially a future survey for, to find out from retailers and consumers where the industry is. Um, there's a lot of predictions online about how um, retail stores might end up closing because of COVID-19. Um, you know, a lot of people can buy CBD locally or they can buy it online. So the retail side is very unpredictable um, and so is on the consumer side. There's large predictions that CBD con consumption will continue to increase between 2020 and 2024. Um, if you have any other questions about um, hemp processors in New York State, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, my email address is lep67 at cornell.edu.